Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 5 of electronic superimposition question. In this module we have the uh, questions which are the most repeated ones from the previous paper and the model question paper. So uh, don't miss any of these questions and uh, please do like and subscribe, it helps me make more videos like this. So without wasting more time, let's get started. The first question is write a note on different types of modulations and briefly uh, describe each in detail. Okay, so basically what is a modulation? Modulation means changing. Okay, modulation means changing. Uh, the process of varying one or more properties of a uh, carrier signal okay usually a frequency sinusoidal wave with the information signal there are two signals okay one is the carrier signal and one is the information signal okay so along with the information signal the carrier signals act as a cover on it okay means if this is the information signal the carrier signals will be like this okay carrier signals will carry the information okay that is the carrier signals and these are changed carrier signals are changed based on how information is changing that is called as modulation okay and different types of modulation are first one is analog modulation in analog modulation, we'll be uh, modifying uh, either amplitude or the frequency or the phase uh, uh, will be uh, changing. Okay, so if we uh, change the amplitude, it will be used in radio broadcasting, and if we use the frequency, it will be used in the FM radio, and if we uh, use the phase model, change the phase modulation in both of these, it will be used. Okay, and uh, it is a change in proportion to the uh, message how what it is. Okay, if the message has a greater change, the modulation will also be greater only. Okay. The Second type is the digital uh, modulation. In digital modulation, the message signal is digital, either 0 or 1, and the carrier wave is uh, varied according to the digital signals. It can be either the amplitude shift keying, where the uh, amplitude of the carrier wave is varied, okay, and frequency uh, carrier wave, where frequency of the carrier wave is varied, phase shift keying, where phase of the carrier is varied, okay. And if we do the combination of this, it will be uh, called as quadrature mo amplitude modulation, okay, it allows for higher data rates. The second one is briefly brief about the modern communication system with its neat diagram okay what is the modern communication system we have to brief okay so it is a complex network designed to transmit information uh, over the long distances it uh, uses the digital technologies advanced modulation and uh, networking protocols to achieve higher data rates and the robust error correction and flexible connectivity so key characteristics of modern communication system first characteristics is it is digital transmission okay it is formed in it is transmitted in the form of bits and bytes okay and multiplexing is possible Simultaneously, it can be transmitted using uh, time division multiplexing or frequency division multiplexing. Modulation is possible here. Error correction is present and network and uh, networking is present. Uh, we can uh, transfer the data from one point to other point using the different uh, networking techniques. Okay, and wireless communication is also present using the Wi-Fi, satellite, or cellular networks. So here, few of the concepts are there. Uh, in the wireless communication information source is there that is transferred to the transducer and which will be transmitted to the uh, transmitter and transmitted signal is sent to the channel in which the noise is also included and in the receiver side output transistor will be removing the noise and the final destination will be uh, from the information source it will be reached to the final destination okay so these are the two key points in the wireless communication Moving on, we have the next question. List out the advantages of digital communication or analog. Digital is the bits and bytes it is getting sent, and the analog is like this one. Okay. So, what is the advantage of this one and uh, with respect to the analog signal? Okay. So, first is noise immunity. Digital signal noise cannot enter. Why? Because it is either 1 or 0. There is no in between. So, noise cannot enter here. Second is regeneration. We can regenerate digital signals perfectly. Why? Because either 1 will be there or 0 will be there. But for the analog signal, either some de decimal differences can come. 0. Uh, 0.151 it is will be by mistake taking 0 0.49 it will be a little bit different but here it will be either 0 or 1 so it will be more accurate okay and uh, efficient multiplexing is possible here we can send it to multiple signals and flexibility and integration is possible at the digital end it is more secure cost effective higher data rates is present we can transfer more data digitally than analog and simplified implementation implementation is simplified and error detection correction is possible it is much more complex in analog systems okay Moving on to the next question, we have uh, uh, explained with the neat diagram concept of radio wave propagation and its different types. Okay, so uh, the radio wave propagation happens through the air. Okay, it can happen through the earth also. There are different types of it. Okay, so it can happen ground, space, or sky. Okay, so uh, the frequencies in which the radio waves operate is 10 kilohertz to 300 gigahertz. Okay, and this is the transmission medium, either ground, space, or sky. Okay. So first is let's discuss the ground surface in ground surface the radio waves are guided by the earth and move along its curved surface from the transmitter to the receiver okay second one is the uh, 
space or uh, tropospheric wave propagation. Here it travels as a straight line to the space and th from there it reflects and comes back to the earth and it is about 15 kilometers from the surface of the earth. Okay, the space wave is made of two components, direct wave or the short wave. Okay, so two types of uh, things are there in the direct wave. That is the direct wave or the ground reflected wave. Okay, uh, direct wave is formed from directly transferring from the transmission to the receiving antenna. Ground reflected wave is happened when it's uh, reflected from the um, space back to the uh, antenna from a satellite. Okay, so, so the television frequencies are 100 to 220 megahertz. The third one is the sky wave. In sky wave, the radio waves are transmitted from the transmitting antenna into the receiving antenna after reflection from the ionosphere. It goes to the ionosphere, which is the ionized layers lying in the Earth's upper atmosphere. And short wave transmission on the globe is possible through the sky wave via successive reflections at the ionosphere and the Earth's surface. Okay, so three types are the ground, space, and sky. Okay, based on the range and the how much more data is to be transferred, we'll be using different types. Okay, moving on to the next question, we have consider the following binary data and sketch the ASK, FSK, and PSK modulated forms. Okay, so this is the data given to us, and we have to construct ASK, P FSK, and PSK. ASK is amplitude shift keying. Okay, so in ASK. The uh, carrier signals vary to represent the binary data. A higher amplitude represents a 1 and lower amplitude represents a 0. Okay, higher means it will be 1 uh, which is the higher amplitude carrier wave and 0 is the lower amplitude carrier wave. Okay, next one is the FSK. FSK means frequency is changed. Here also 1 is higher frequency and 0 is lower frequency. By that case, we will make the diagram that will be the FSK diagram. PSK. Carrier shift with respect to the phase shift. If the phase shift is 0 degrees, it is uh, represented by 1. If it is uh, uh, 180 degrees, it will be uh, 0. Means if different phase is present, it will be 0. If the same phase is present, it will be 1. Okay. Moving on to the last appointment question we have explained the types of communication systems. There are two types, it varies. The first one is based on physical infrastructure, second is based on the signal specifications. Physical infrastructure, two are there line or radio communication and simple or duplex communication. In line radio communication, we'll be having like this uh, things, right? If you have, might have seen somewhere in the road and all, there'll be lines like this. That communication is the line or radio communication. And second is the uh, simple duplex communication. Simple communication will be one way, duplex will be both the ways. Okay. That type so two types are here second is based on signal nature of baseband signal and nature of the transmitted signal okay if we consider on the uh, nature of baseband signal baseband means transferring the uh, data in the form of uh, electricity it can be either analog form or it can be digital form and nature of transmitted signal is can be either baseband communication or carrier communication in baseband communication one type of data will be transferred okay and in carrier communication multiple data will be transferred within a single line okay so those are the differences and this is all for the module 5 and uh, don't miss any of this question please do like and subscribe it helps me make more just like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one